It was very dark, and the wind howled horribly around her. She felt as if she were being rocked gently like a baby in a cradle. Huh. All's quiet after the storm. There's no trace of anything. Over. I wonder, does that lake of darkness where Nero does his fishing look something like this? You're quite the poet today, little master. Where do you come up with this stuff, huh? Read some books, Mary. It's good for you. Books are made from paper, little master. And they're such a pain to carry around. Paper and stone tablets last longer than optical data, you know. Besides, reading a book helps me get to sleep. How's the sensor readout? Anything showing up? Nothing at all. It's as if even the atoms are at rest. Not even gas or dust? If it was a giant flare, it should have at least left behind some high-energy particles. How could that be? An entire planet was here just a little while ago. Retrieving Little Master. Open Cargo Bay 6. Opening Cargo Bay 6. Opening Cargo Bay 6. Let's go! Keep up the pace, everyone. We still got work to do. Welcome back, little master. Yo. Ariadne's completely vanished. But it doesn't seem like it was destroyed. It's almost as if someone is hiding it somewhere. Hiding it? Where would that be? Who knows? The best way to find out would be to ask the person who's hiding it. Shelly? It's very slight, but I'm getting a reaction from the primer. No question about it. Some kids playing with matches, maybe? What happened to that fleet, anyway? We haven't heard anything since we picked up that distress signal six hours ago. Gnosis, huh? Hmm. They must have been totally wiped out. Not necessarily. When the little ones play with fire, you know their folks can't be too far behind. Oh, I get it. So you reckon that the mom is gonna show up soon? Exactly. Change course. Proceed to the last known coordinates of the Federation fleet. We underestimated him by thinking he was just a relic from an age gone by. In regards to the information leak, we traced it to the Special Ops Intelligence Bureau. We're currently looking into how they discovered the route to Proloma. I apologize for the trouble. It's inevitable. There will always be vermin. I'll leave their extermination to you. Very well. So, do you really think they will show up? Oh, they'll come. After all, that's the reason for their existence. It also happens to be Milsha's Achilles heel. Cherenkov. What is it? The Zohar was... taken by the Gnosis. But... but I managed to secure the 100 series Realian. It's currently on board a cargo ship. Headed for the Milshan star system. 
I believe it is the same one you had secured on Priloma. What do you... Just stick to your duties. What? Don't do anything beyond the scope of your mission. We've already confirmed all the variables. The situation is proceeding according to plan. But, but, but sir... Return to headquarters at once. I'll deal with you then. Understood? Get the registration of the ship that signal came from. Track Cherenkov's marker. Yes, sir. You just love barking out those orders, don't you, Margulis? Show a little love to your dogs, or else they might bite you one day. You. The prototype belongs to me. I've grown bored with these Kirschwassers. So you're going? I think I'm more likely to succeed than your dogs. Ah, yes. Feed me your hostility. Pierce me with your hatred. <laughs> no, wait! Don't worry. I won't get in your way. We're working toward the same goal, right? <laughs> Is it wise to leave this matter to him? I'm not leaving anything to him. He has his uses, that's all. Diving into shark-infested waters with a big juicy steak. I found the remains of a Zohar security ring. I guess this is where they were storing it. Shelly, set the sequencing primer. Roger. Initiating primer walking. Analyzing gate in wake. If they're already out of range, we're out of luck. Let's hope they're still hanging around nearby. I can't believe you're hoping those things are still here. Aren't you scared, little master? There are plenty of things in this world scarier than the Gnosis. So, how is it? Have they already gone over to the other side? Just hold your horses there, little master. I'm in the middle of analyzing. What? What is it? Emergency alert! Looks like someone got here before us! It appears we're completely surrounded. Using short jumps, heh? <laughs> That's pretty damn clever! Little Asta, are they? Yeah, no question about it. They're from Utah. Mary, I'll head back after I take care of these guys. Have them all crew to return to the Durandal.
Providence! Little Master, you've got to hurry back! Their mothership is coming! has begun its retreat. <sighs> It'd be nice if we could just let him go. But we can't do that. We can't. Shelly, give him a little nudge. And when he says a little nudge, you know what that means. Set engines to ramming speed. Penetrate the port side and prepare for combat.
We've hacked into the enemy mainframe. Okay, so now what? Shall I copy or transmit it? They've already entered the manual override code. The partitions are being deleted. Hurry up and start your transmission. Roger. You just clear your head out and wait for me. I tell ya, being able to interlink with your sister has got to be real convenient. I wouldn't say that. She has so many random thoughts. I can't help it. We're humans, not realians. You can telepathically talk to the Kaiser, right, little master? That sounds a lot more convenient to me. You don't need this annoying contraption, either. Not really. I have to constantly make sure I watch what I'm thinking. Or else I start sending thoughts I don't want to send. The whole thing's just as tiring as hell. It'd be easier just to write him a letter. Oh, I didn't know it was like that. Yep, that's how it is. You okay, Mary? Yeah, I'm all right, but look what you did. Oh. I'm sorry to say that all data from the enemy mainframe has been lost. Ah, oh, oops. It's because of all those cheesy action flicks you keep on watching. They've launched a lifeboat. Shall we pursue? Nah, no need to pursue them that far. We just need to know where they're headed. Place a trace request with the UMN Administration Bureau. Let's head back. Hurry up with the retrieval preparations on board the Durandal. All hands, check your equipment. Don't leave any evidence behind. Amazing. I can't believe how much his personality changes when he's holding a gun. A lust for conquest and absolute power, and the desire to have a really big gun. I suppose that'd be the standard explanation. <laughs> you don't hold back, do you, Shelly? Although, in Little Master's case, it's probably just a complex about his height. <laughs> probably, but I think Little Master's plenty attractive just the way he is. <sighs> True. Mary, we'll be leaving in two minutes. Hurry back, okay? Roger. It's a shame. Little Master doesn't have any choice in the matter but to stay that size. Commander Cherenkov was here with you. What's the matter? Well, he skipped dinner again, so I've been looking for him. Did you check outside? He mentioned something about finding a charter flight. Wait a minute. Wearing that uniform? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. Mm -hmm. This area was abandoned by the government and never properly restored after the war. People here haven't forgotten how violent the military was, though. It's no place for a soldier to be wandering around. Is it really that dangerous here? 
Well, it's fine if you're a civilian. Well, in that case, we better go find him before anything happens. Yeah, you're right. I'll go get Ziggy. He'll probably come in handy at a time like this. All right. I'll go with Alan, then. He doesn't look very useful, though. Federation scum! Xi'an, we must get these people to a hospital at once. They're still alive, but barely hanging on. Huh? I'll... I'll go call an ambulance. <laughs> this is terrible. Wh where's Commander Cherenkov? I'm detecting a faint heat signature heading toward the dock. It most likely belongs to the Commander. Commander... That's enough! But, Commander! Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? I got cornered by some, uh, street punks. But they started fighting amongst each other, so I ran away during the commotion. You got cornered? It, it's all right. It's really not that bad. That's not true. I've been trying to treat his injuries, but he won't let me. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm not a big fan of nanosurgery. You prefer natural healing? No, that... that's not what I mean. Momo, I need your help over here. I haven't had a tune-up since the battle on Proloma. Some of my parts may be a little worn out. Okay. All systems are working within their normal parameters. I'm behind on my regular maintenance. This body's getting pretty old. Not at all. But you know, you may be better off if Shion were to look you over. You may find this funny, but even with a body like this, I still feel uncomfortable about a young woman working on me. But, 
there are plenty of human female doctors, aren't there? Well, I'm embarrassed of this patchwork mechanical body. I'm being silly, aren't I? But you're all right with me because I'm not human? That's not what I meant. It's just that I feel comfortable around you, but that's probably because... because of the purity of your heart. And not because I see you as an object. Thank you. I'm so glad. How I envy you. Huh? Uh, no, it's, uh... It's it's nothing. I wonder if the commander's really all right. He's been acting strangely ever since we boarded the Elsa. Xi'an, it may already be too late. Who are you? What do you mean, too late? What's too late? Ultimately, the choice is up to him. But you... You may be able to understand him in his final moments. Indeed, that will bring him comfort.
run! A powerful force is affecting the ship from outside hyperspace. What does that mean? Something is trying to come into contact with the ship. If this persists, we will be dragged out of hyperspace. What's this? A sense? Huh? What? Specific, we are located at the approximate center of a giant gnosis. This gnosis is nearly 16,000 kilometers in diameter. To date, the only gnosis of this size on record is the one named Cathedral Ship. Does that mean we were eaten? That may not be far from the truth. I don't sense any activity from the gnosis outside. It's almost as if they're sleeping. Hey, what about the Elsa? Where's the captain and everyone else? Hopefully they too are alive, and in here somewhere. Uh, what is it, Cosmos? My sensors have picked up a signal. A signal? Is it the Elsa? Yes, and something else near it. Although it is faint, I am picking up a waveform similar to the Zohar that was taken from the Woglinde. The Zohar? You mean that gold-colored object that was in the hangar? That thing's here? How far is the Elsa from here? Approximately 10 kilometers from our current position. Not too far. Stay here or find the Elsa. I'm worried about Alan and the others. Hmm. Looks like we have no choice. This can't be real. Am I dreaming? Or... It's not possible. Ariadne vanished when the Zohar went out of control.
Warning alert in Section D. Distorted wave patterns detected in the quarantine hangar. Sector D? Is it the Zohar? Raising a trapped inhibitor output in all Sector D compartments. UMN traffic detected across EPR radar. Something's beaming resonant waves through hyperspace. Where is it? Searching for signal source. It must be resonating with whatever's out there. Prepare to gate jump! Mary, alert the Foundation! We're gonna follow it. Roger. So this is a cathedral ship. It does feel like we're inside a ship, but it certainly doesn't look like anything that belongs to the Federation. Could it be an alien ship? I wonder. Look, over there. What is it? A sign or something? Hey, it's written in English! But this is odd. It doesn't look like it's stuck on the wall. Doesn't it look more like a part of the wall itself? Are you saying this sign is part of the Gnosis? How could that be? Take a look around. That's not the only one. There's a lot of other stuff here, too. Are we... really inside a Gnosis? Hurry! He'll be gone soon! Huh? What, did you find something? Huh? Uh, no. Uh, no, it, it's, it's nothing. That girl again. What does she have to do with this place? At this time, the Defendant's origins are unknown. That information was lost in the chaos of war, perhaps deliberately, I might add. It could be said that the circumstances surrounding the Defendant actually qualify him as a victim of the life recycling law. Therefore, is it right for him to be the first victim of a capital punishment system that had been abandoned for thousands of years? It's true that the Defendant must pay for his crimes, but with all the progress we've made in science and the study of the human psyche, surely there must be alternative means by which he can repay society? Please, I ask you to make a merciful and wise decision. This court hereby sentences the defendant, Andrew Cherenkov, to undergo level 7 personality reconditioning. With this ruling, the current you will cease to exist. But it also marks the birth of a brand new world for you. Let us celebrate, shall we? What is the meaning of this? Why can't we have a child of our own? Oh, stop it. What could you want to leave behind? Don't tell me you want that abnormal DNA of yours to live on. Nanotechnology is hardly perfect, you know. It still can't correct mutations in genomes. Are you saying this is my fault? <laughs> You're pathetic. A bit of nucleic acid desperately clinging to life. You haven't changed one bit since then. But of course, that's what makes you, you. But then, why did you marry me? For this. Do you know how hard I worked for this permit? That's why I volunteered to care for you. What, did you think there was love between us? Please, don't kid yourself. I can get all the love I need with this. Don't forget to take your meds. After all, I'm the one who'll be held responsible if you don't.
accordance with Federation law, the defendant will now undergo level 8 personality reconditioning. With this, Defendant 12584's human rights shall be revoked, and henceforth the defendant shall be treated as a life form belonging to the Federation. According to current law, this treatment grants the bearer the same rights and privileges as those of a realian. I must admit, I've never seen such a stubborn neural network. He's even rejected the level 8 procedure. In any case, he's still quite valuable to us. We can use him as a test subject for the level 9 procedure. So you're the man who murdered every worker in this facility, and annihilated three squads of Federation Special Forces. I was looking forward to meeting you. But you... You look like a poor little stray. Is this really your handiwork? Life recycling variant. No wonder the Federation police couldn't handle you. I'll commend you for that. However... <laughs> Reality is cruel, is it not? Commander Margulis, the 308th Volgata Division is... I know. We're taking him with us. Sir! You're not serious. Yes, this one may be useful. But... All you ever wanted in life was to leave behind a legacy. Isn't that right? Now show me the proof of your existence. To me alone. It looks like we've arrived at the center. What is that? A building? Hmm. Or maybe some sort of device? What do you mean? I don't know. It's just... Yes? Well... If this is really the center, it's possible that it may be of some importance to the Gnosis. But this, of course, is from our frame of reference, so we could be completely mistaken. In other words, if that is a man-made object, it could be a ship or some other wreckage that was swallowed just as we were. What about us? Are we gonna end up like that too? We'll be sure to get out of here before that happens. Cosmos, what's the Elsa's current position? Location unknown. I have lost its signal. Lost? The Gnosis magnetic and gravitational fields have become unstable near the center. 
The last known coordinates point to a location on the lower level, 300 meters below our present position. That's pretty close. Shall we go? Yes. Let's just hope the Elsa isn't in the same condition as the wreckage around here. wanted to test your loyalty to the organization. Nothing more. The citizens will be affected, whether you succeed or not. Do you regret your decision? No. They're of no consequence to me, nor to our organization, or anyone else. <laughs> well said, Cherenkov. We must go. Hey, Cosmos, wait! Don't you go off on your own. Oh, I don't recall programming her that way. But what's the Zohar doing here? I have confirmed that this object can be identified with a 99.99998% probability to be the Zohar emulator that was stored on board the Woglinde. An emulator? Are you saying a real one exists somewhere else? Affirmative. Affirmative? Cosmos, how do you know all of this? I never stored any type of information like that in your main databank. You... You're the creator of that thing. And yet, you didn't even know about that? Commander Cherenkov! Are you all right? Let's get out of here. survive through something like this that's right I I was the one behind the disappearance of the planet Ariadne all that mattered was the recovery of the emulator that was the reason behind the deployment of vector and the military only pawns, but in spite of all that,
go, go away. Don't come near me. You were the one who rejected me. So why are you bothering me now? that spreads before your eyes. This light once symbolized civilization, the very will of the human race. But what can be gleaned from the light we see today? The people of this world have cast away their will to create, drowning themselves instead in an endless cycle of consumption. What you see now is the deceitful light cast by their stagnant the Commander? But who's that with him? The people you've encountered in your lifetime are not people at all. They are less than human, mere sacks of flesh and bone. 
Only upon the realization of self-will can a person truly be called a man. You chose to reject the false light, refused to succumb to their lies. That's why you never faltered, even after all the personality reconditioning. The commander underwent personality reconditioning? Long ago, man was forced to leave behind his homeland. This was brought about by the masses who extinguished the very light that drove their will. So how about it, Cherenkov? Let us rekindle the torch. So that human consciousness may once again be resurrected. For our sake and that of our God. Happiness? Were those my feelings just now? No. It must have been the Commander's feelings. Commander. What was it that you were searching for? I never really existed at all. I... 36 years ago, the year after the Zoar incident, which led up to the Milshin conflict, I was brought into this world as a weapon of warfare. It happened all the time back then. Killing was my... No, our whole reason for existence. The fortunate ones were those who could adapt to that way of life. Even luckier were those who died on the battlefield. But I was never granted that opportunity. Before I could find some significance to my own life, the war ended. And I was left behind while the world went on. I tried to adapt. But the language I spoke was so different from the rest of the world. I thought the entire world had rejected me. But the commander, it felt like he really needed me. I saw a future for myself in the commander. Or I wanted to, at least. But I had to rely on the drugs to communicate with the rest of the world. It was because I hadn't changed. After everything that happened, I hadn't changed at all. Now I finally understand. The world didn't reject me. I rejected the world. Xion. I like it here. I'm the only living thing that exists in this place. There's nothing else. No anger, no sadness, no happiness, not even a future. The only thing that's here is me. And that'll eventually fade away. It feels good. This is exactly what I've been searching for all this time. Xion. You'll eventually find yourself here, too. I'm sure of it. It won't be much longer. I know. I can tell.
What was that? Where's Commander Cherenkov? between the phenomenon boundaries is dissipating. If this continues, this spatial location will disappear. We are in danger. This isn't good. It's Cosmos! 
What is she? I'll put it on the monitor. Cosmos! Permutational phenomena appearing in the variant. In Mama? Where's it coming from? Scanning transfection course. Course trapped. It's coming from the quarantine hangar. Quarantine hangar? It can't be the Zohars. It is. External sources are sending requests to the Zohars. Paradigm contamination is spreading. If this keeps up, the mother frame will be taken over. Cut off the main line to the quarantine hangar. Stabilize the attract inhibitor through a secondary line. Main line purged. All signals blocked. Heck, that wasn't so bad. Chief? Did... Did that really just happen? Yeah. It appeared as if she absorbed the Gnosis. How could she have weaponry we don't even know about? No, that wasn't a weapon. That was... Something impossible. Who cares if it's possible or not? She got rid of the Gnosis, right? Uh, Captain. Little Master's been buzzing us for a while. Huh? Oh, patch him in. Who's this little master? Uh, thanks for helping Hello. us out, little master. Sorry about all the This isn't the cosmos that I built. Kevin, is this your hand at work? Is this the real cosmos that you wish to create? Commander. What is it? Commander Cherenkov's SMS tracking signal has disappeared.
And the UMN? Huh. I was able to track him while he traveled through hyperspace, but I lost him at point two one zero zero seven eight three. There are traces of a space-time anomaly at that same point, so we believe the Gnosis may have been there. I see. So, you got it? Roger, little master. Thanks for helping us out. You guys better fill me in on the situation later. Man, what the heck is going on here? And Mama's gone and caught a bug, so we can't perform any investigations or analyses for a while. That's terrible. Tell me about it. Hey, is that little master? He's our boss, the head honcho. Hey, little master. We picked up a couple of passengers headed for Milsha while we were working. What should we do with them? They look like they're in pretty deep with something. Well, your first concern should be to repair the Elsa. Why don't you get it fixed over at the Foundation? You won't make it very far in that kind of shape. Foundation? You mean the Kukai Foundation? From the Galactic Finance 500's top 10 fastest growing corporations list? Then you must be... Ah, the business stuff was meant to be a side thing. We got lucky, that's all. This is bad, Chief. We can't associate with these people. Hey, hey. I heard that, man. Would you rather we left you here in space? Uh, no. Sorry, sir. Look, little master, what do you say we just leave this wuss behind? He spends all his time moaning and groaning. Hey, come on, Captain. Chaos, help me out here. Well, it's not really up to me, you know. I better leave this one to you two. Then I'm definitely giving him the boot. C come on! <laughs> hey, man, don't freak out. We're just playing. What's wrong? Something worrying you? Huh? Oh, no. It's nothing. I'm Shion Uzuki. Nice to... Um, meet you... Junior. Guinan Junior. I got a real name. But let's just leave it at that for now. Good to meet you. Shelly, change of plans. We're returning to the Foundation. Make sure to tell Guinan that we have secured the final emulator. Roger. Preparing to return to the Foundation. <laughs>